Hello, and welcome back to At Your Pace Online's Real Estate Education Series. This section will cover buyer agency. We'll begin by looking at the important elements of buyer's agency, and then examine the contractual agreements through which buyers are represented, such as non-exclusive and exclusive rights to represent. From there, we'll take time to discuss the things a licensee should consider before agreeing to represent a buyer. Then, we'll look at some of the specific aspects of a licensee's representation of a buyer, followed by an exploration of the benefits that come from a buyer's agency relationship. Next, we'll talk about commissions and commission splits, and we'll end this class with a look into disclosures that buyer's agents owe to the people that they interact with. Buyer's agency has become a common presence in the real estate market. It is one of three primary forms of real estate agency in Texas. With that in mind, it's important to know what's required and expected of a licensee who represents a buyer. Let's get started, shall we?